I'm going to attempt to pass a $200,000 prop firm challenge right in front of you guys today to show you what it's like as a six year full time day trader going into session every single morning, going through trade plan, going through markup, executing my trades based on proven data and history and backtesting collection, as well as a trade plan rather than emotions, trying to predict price and trying to assume where price is going to go, but instead reacting to what price is giving me. The tool that I'm going to be using to attempt to pass this $200,000 prop firm challenge is called fxreplay.com. This is a tool where you can replay the markets and simulate live accounts and prop firm challenges. I'm whatsoever not an affiliate for this tool, so if you want to try it out yourself, you can come directly over to the website at fxreplay.com. It is a paid tool. I think you get a few days free trial and then it's about $30 a month. But to go and get started with today's 200k prop firm challenge, I'm going to go and click on create session and create an entire new session. Enter my $200,000 funded account balance or prop firm account balance. So I need to reach a profit target of $216,000, which is 8% on the account for phase one. Then maybe in tomorrow's video, we can move on to part two of the series, which will be phase two of the $200,000 funded account. I'm going to be using USD CAD only for this specific prop challenge. I'm going to give myself one month to pass this challenge, starting from the 1st of August, 2023 to the 1st of September, 2023. The strategy that I'll be using is MM funded concepts, which is my mechanical strategy that I've introduced to my members in my community, where I'm now mentoring and live streaming with my members which is my own mechanical system that I've developed over various concepts from ICT, SMC, various concepts into something more rule based called two box and three structure types. All right, so I'm just going to click on save over here and we can then go and launch the charts for the specific session. So I can go and click on play now. You'll see my balance over here is at $200,000, my current p &L at zero while well, we haven't placed trades yet. So we need to reach that profit target of $16,000 in today's session. So first and foremost, going into the charts every single morning, I'm just quickly going to forward price to the next London session. So I'm a session trader, I only trade London and I trade US session. Uh, I'm just waiting for nine o'clock. This is seven o'clock. Okay. Yeah, that's London session. So first and foremost in my system, I look at higher time frame intentions. Okay. So most recently we have had a four hour break of structure to the downside, which you can go and mark out as a four hour break of structure, which has been created by these four hour protected strong highs. So expectational order flow is to respect these strong highs and target these weak lows going into this month of August. We would like to see after that break of structure, a sweep of all of this liquidity into potential supply areas to continue targeting these four hour week lows. That is expectation. Price might not do that, but again, we'll react to what price is doing on the internal time frame, which is our M15 structure. So in the M15 structure, which is our, all of our internal structure that occurs within our four hour structural ranges. Most recently, we've had the M15 break of structure to the upside created by our M15 strong protected lows leaving behind our M15 weak highs. Okay, so now if we have put the idea together of higher time frame structure and our M15 structure, understanding that all of these breaks of structures to the upside, okay, break of structure, break of structure, break of structure, price respecting demand over and over again, forming a beautiful demand chain. All of this that you're seeing right here and that what's occurring is catering for a bit of a four hour pullback before we then look for that internal shift to the downside for that internal pullback into supply that takes over control from demand to then continue targeting the M15 lows and the overall four hour week lows. Okay, because after every single break of structure, price needs to occur a pullback phase to fulfill orders in the previous swing range before continuing with that expectational order flow to target the liquidity at those relative weak highs or weak lows. Okay, so now that we understand our four hour and our M15 structure, we can now have a look at our fractal structure. Another mechanical fractal structure system that I teach to my members privately is using what you call two box methodology, where we use the one hour fractal structure to determine what's in, in control going into session that specific morning. Okay, so most recently we have created this one hour fractal break to the upside. So every single one hour candle is fractal structural highs and lows. 
All right, so we can actually mark out uh, this fractal high over here on that candle. And we can mark out this previous fractal low, which if we come over to the five minutes, most recently we have created that fractal break of structure to the upside. Okay, that pullback into fractal areas of demand, price now ready to go and target these new fractal highs. Okay, so going into session this morning, let's see what we get to the upside or downside. We've now created that break of structure to the downside, creating a valid demand zone over here. All we need to see is a liquidity buildup for this demand area, which we start to get. Okay, we just missed this mitigation, so we can actually go and place a limit over here, see if we get entry, and we can target that fractal week high for a 1 to 3.5. Uh, just risk 1% per trade. Okay, so if we get this fractal break, this new fractal break over here without mitigating our POI, we can then remove our limits and follow structure from there. Okay, so like we've done over there, we can then remove this limit. Uh, we can follow through with our fractal structure. So over here, we've now had this break to the upside. We can mark out this valid demand zone. So let's see if we get that liquidity buildup for that zone. Okay, I'm more than happy enough to look for entries off of here. And we can target uh, section equilibrium entry. This is an equilibrium zone simply because candle bodies, the candle wicks is bigger than the body, therefore mitigation is valid at the 50%. Okay, so I'm just gonna target a one to four for risk to reward purposes. We can actually go and place that order. See if we get tap in. Okay, we had valid tapping. We didn't get that candle body closure above and we hit full 4% on this trade. Because what I was looking for on the zone is every single supply and demand zone that has the liquidity buildup, which it had here, which it had here. But because this was an equilibrium zone, my limits mechanically go at the 50%, which we swept all of this inducement into our limits, just targeting a one to four for risk to reward purposes and risk management purposes. If you wanted to, you could target these fractal highs for a one to five, but that's not really what I do, but you would get a, you would have gotten your full runner. All right, so first trade in this month, we've had a 4% return at a one to four R. So I'm just going to remove that, but it's documented over here. Also just a quick side note, you'll see on trading view, um, I actually have an indicator for two box system, which puts price in these fractal two box uh, structural method, which is a very mechanical system. Like I said, that I teach to my members. This is currently a live Euro USD trade that we're in with the fractal two box breaks to the downside, understanding that price will want to mitigate these demand areas going into US session. We're then just targeting a one to three of these supplies that are currently in control with a triple M entry confirmation. Okay, but yeah, going back to passing this 200K account, uh, let's come over back to the M15. I just wanna quickly update our M15 structure. Going into US session, just quickly deleting these. We can actually leave that one there. So potentially now what we want to see is a bit of an M15 pullback into these areas of demand before targeting these weak highs. And we can look for interim counter trend shorts through our two box methodology, our one hour candles, that one hour break to the downside, fractal supply and control, valid to look for shorts to these deeper areas of demand before going long. So that would be a valid trade plan going into session uh, on the 2nd of August on Wednesday. All right, so also most recently we've now had this break to the upside. So we want to see price flip these demand levels to the downside, putting supply in control, valid to look for those pullback shorts. Okay, so let's have a look quickly at the M5, uh, well, the one hour fractal structure. Okay, so this still remains as our one hour fractal high, one hour fractal low. Coming into session, okay, we've had that pullback inducement for the 50%. So I'm going to take limits over here. Again, just target a one to three for risk to reward purposes, uh, risking 1% because this is the inducement that I want to see for this level. Um, okay, and price continued without us. Price actually just continued with this demand level over here that created this new fractal break 
of structure to the upside. Okay, so this would have been also a valid demand zone to take entry with this inducement and liquidity, swept into this limit to continue targeting those fractal weak highs. But that's all right, so we can then remove this limit. Uh, let's just leave this here for now because we could potentially get a pullback into that. We then have these most recent areas of demand. Okay. We also have this new demand area over here, creating these fractal breaks to the upside. So again, let's look for potential. Okay, I'm just going to target a 1.27 on this trade, targeting that fractal high. All right, so again, in and out, the reason behind this trade was because we had that fractal break to the upside. So just following rules and the trade plan, continuing to target these fractal weak highs, we had these liquidity inducements over here, which we swept into our limits. Usually, I will wait for entry confirmation in over here. But in today's 200k challenge, um, I'm just using limits simply because FX Replay doesn't have the entry confirmation I use on TradingView, which is called Triple M, which is basically a triple break of structure on a really lower time frame. So as price approaches a supply, you'll see on the one second or the five second, this tiny structure that happens. And it's a triple break of structure to the downside. So break, pullback, break, pullback, break, pullback. That triple M confirm is what these candle wicks are. Just introducing institutional selling power in your point of interest, which is usually a good confirmation to look for confirms, which is a good confirmation to look for trade executions from your POI. Okay, so coming back to FX Replay. All right, we've just continued following through. So all of this triple bottom liquidity also becomes liquidity for these deeper areas of demands. Okay, so we just want to see price play out. This is also a valid demand. So if we get our four criteria for this demand, we can still look for longs. That break of structure, which it has, the inefficiency, which it has. We just want to see a liquidity build up for this zone. Okay, no real liquidity build up. Simply because kind of that break of structure, pullback, what you want to see is violent wicks like this, like this, and like this above or below a zone. This was really just the break of structure and a pullback into the zone with no clear liquidity. Um, so what we can look for is if price creates that new break of structure, we can look for new demand areas that are would be in control. I'm just going to speed up price a bit. Okay, so there's that new break to the upside. Um, this would be my demand fractal range valid to look for longs from. Okay, so we have, okay, we're currently at seven o'clock or 12 o'clock at night. So I'm just going to quickly move to the next session. All right, so valid equilibrium demand zone mitigation only valid at the 50% because candle wicks is bigger than the body. And we have our valid inducements and liquidity for the zone. Again, just going to target a three risk to reward for risk management purposes. We can go and place. That order over here, just risking 1%. See if we get that tap in. Okay, and we wicked in and wicked out. That's perfectly fine. We're still about 5% up on the account. So now potentially, for the first time in a while, we've had that internal break of structure to the downside, which puts these areas of supply up here, supply fractal range with all of your valid liquidity. So if we get a bit of a pullback sweep of this liquidity, we can look for shorts to target these deeper areas of demand. Going into this US session, because we're currently at one o'clock, we could potentially still look for longs of these areas of demand. Okay, so let's just let price play through slowly. All right, I'm actually happy to take entry of the supply. Again, just going to target a 1 to 3. Uh, uh, there we go. 1 to 3 R. We can place that order. Let's see if we get that tap in. Okay, we've tapped in. And we've tapped out at full TP. I think that's actually a count passed. Um, <laughs> Just want to make sure that that's 8%. Yeah, $16,000. Okay. Yeah, okay. So again, all this is, is a continuation of structure, following your order flow, reacting to what price gives you, understanding what's in control of the market. In these five trades alone, we passed a 200K prop firm challenge in just five trades. Uh, this doesn't always happen. There's another video on my other YouTube channel where I took me about two weeks and there was only about a 44% win rate. 
and we passed the account, took much longer on GBP USD. So that's why it's so important to backtest different pairs, to backtest different uh, periods of data. I recommend at least the past three, four years to determine if a system is successful for you. And that will rather allow you to trade with a system that's been proven by history, data collection, um, and backtesting results, rather than just watching something from a guru course, seeing that it's kind of working, going into the markets, trading it, and then it doesn't work at all. Simply because that system has not been backtested and hasn't had the history to prove itself that it works. Remember, I've been trading for six years, so I see the markets pretty clearly without even having to really mark things out properly. Um, and that's eventually the stage you'll get to. So if we follow this through, you'll probably find we could have taken longs off here, okay, and target these fractal weak highs. We definitely would have at least got a one to two or a one to three, and then we failed that demand. Now, just continuing with the supply chain, following supply here, putting these supplies in control, and now following these supply zones over here. Okay, so if you guys would like to hop into session with me every single morning. I live stream privately with my members, ATM GMT plus two uh, and US session uh, GMT plus two at 2 p.m. I'll leave a link down below to my Discord where I've also got a full section one to seven chronological institutional MM funded concepts course, which will teach you exactly how I trade. Secondly, I do not post signals. Signals attracts the wrong people. If you are just here to look for signals, I deep down know for you that it's going to be many years before you still make it in the markets if you're looking for signals. Signals does not Signals is great to make try and make a quick buck here and there, but it is not sustainable long term. You need to learn how to do the skill yourself. There's no shortcuts around this industry. It takes education, it takes hard work, it takes taking the concepts that I teach in my mentorship, putting that into live action and seeing it for yourself. All right, guys. So that was the 200K account passed in five trades. Again, it's not always like this. I know that this like really looks good for the YouTube video, but keep in mind all of the methodology, the concepts that I use in the markets to get these kind of results I've been doing for six, nearly seven years now. So it looks easy, but in reality, it takes time. It takes effort to start seeing this yourself. So I'm not promising you the world. I can take you to the water, but I can't make you drink. Okay, guys. So again, I'll leave a link down below and I'll see you guys on the inside.